Here we're going to be looking at how we give feedback to our students about each possible response in a question. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to do this and that it's something that needs to be done uh, regularly when you make these quizzes because obviously you'll see that it is relatively time consuming, but it is a feature which is worth knowing that exists and you might choose to use this depending on how you're going to use your quizzes. So what we've got, um, what we've got then is uh, a question has been built out already. It's asking about which two Olympic Games were subject to political protests and I've created my responses. You may have seen this already in different uh, previous videos. What I've now done though, if you go to the speech bubble there, you can see it says display a message to respondents who select this answer and you can give them immediate feedback about uh, whether you know, that was the correct answer or not or what it's referring to. So in this case, Munich isn't the correct answer. That was about terrorism. Los Angeles, that's correct. Berlin, polit political propaganda and so on. So I can build in some responses for each um, or some feedback for each of the responses that potentially a student might make. Now, let's have a look at what that looks like for the student user experience when they um when they come to do this so i'm just going to quickly do this i'm going to preview this is um mock quiz so let's just imagine that i'm a student doing this i'm just going to put in any silly answers just for the sake of this now this is the question we were referring to um, i'm going to get one right and one wrong so los angeles i'm going to get right and let's choose munich as the wrong one so when the student has completed the whole of their quiz they will um, press submit and then they will get something that looks like this and depending on your settings but usually it will look like this and then I can view results. So click view results as a student and I get immediate feedback. That was correct. This one is wrong and that's telling me what the correct answer was. That was correct. And this is the one I'm interested in now. So look, um, I chose Munich and this told me that that was terrorism. So that's not right. And Los Angeles I chose and I've got that right. And that's telling me that's correct again. And uh, you obviously could put some more relevant or meaningful detail in there than, rather than that's correct. Because obviously I'm being told that by the tick. And then I'm similarly being told here that Moscow is the correct response, even though I didn't choose it. OK, so this is quite useful to have that information there if um, you think it's going to be useful, relevant for uh, your students.